I'm uh, here at Monroe still, and I'm very excited to be here. There's a car they have here that I've been actually following online for a good couple years now. And it was fascinating, and it's this car right here, the Nobi. I adore the styling. The styling feels kind of like an old Alpha from the front, but as you progress towards the back, it all of a sudden gets kind of this uh, future as we imagined it in the 60s, kind of Jetsonian tapered rear like a little saucer. It's just a lovely little machine. It's charming and being around it in person, I'm really, it really feels real and it reminds me of an old Volvo P1800 I had and part of it and the scale of it just feels right. Everything about it just feels right. It's got character and charm and the company's smart because it's not just a good style. They've come to Sandy Monroe over here to tell them actually how to build these things which is where all these little startups always get hung up, is actually making them. So Sandy, tell me, what are you doing with Nobi and how are you gonna help actually make it so people can buy these things? I never had a trike before, but I, I'm telling you flat, this has the most appealing style yeah. ever. I love everything about it. I love the grill work. Mm -hmm. I love everything in here. It's just absolutely spectacular. And just like you, you mentioned, um, I love the boat tail. Yeah. Okay, that, that bow tail is absolutely a brilliant idea. The best view, actually, is when you're up here looking down. And yeah. then you can see, it's, they're calling it the Starga Stargazer roof, because this actually can have a bed in it. We, we're gonna put uh -huh. uh, two kinds of seats. We'll put in bucket seats, probably similar to the ones that we created. Yeah. But we're also gonna be looking at um, bench seat, which kind of like folds out into a bed. And this would be an absolute brilliant thing for us to go on a weekend trip or something like yeah. that. Yeah, right? it's surprisingly roomy inside. I mean, most of oh, this is. volume is available for people or their stuff. And looking inside, especially with the glass roof, it doesn't feel cramped at all. Like, no, it, when you I, sit in it, Yeah. I mean, it feels like a vintage car, which I love. This feels like my old Volvo P1800 or an old Carmen Ghia. Yeah. I mean, it just has that beautiful feel about it. And it's so airy and open and you have a tall greenhouse. I right. love it. I mean, I could see, I just, you would just enjoy the hell out of a driving this thing. It'd be right. a blast. And we did move the seats back from where they originally wanted to have them. Mm -hmm. And we still got more room to do that because the seat isn't all the way back yet. But I'm telling you, um, this is gonna be made for a guy who's six foot two, or a, um, a woman who's uh, less than five feet. Yeah. Now, everybody's got problems with three-wheel vehicles. Yeah. So let's talk about how you get rid of those problems. Okay. First and foremost, this has got three-wheel drive. Wow. As I don't think there's ever been a three-wheel drive vehicle sold commercially, has there? I don't know of any, but I know that this one's going to do that because I don't want this thing to flip over like a Robin. Yeah. Yeah, the old... Uh, right, Reliant uh, Robin. Reliant but see, Robin. the Reliant Robin, they had one wheel in the front and two at the rear, which is the wrong way to do well, it. Exactly right. Yeah. So there's two different ways of doing it. This is a forward trike, or some yeah. people call them a polywog, mm -hmm. uh, and, um, or... Tadpole. Tadpole. Yeah. And, um, and then there's the other end, which is uh, the car of Tricycle death. style. The tricycle yeah. style. Yeah. So I think that by having the three wheels with anti-lock brakes and, um, and traction control, along with the fact that this has an air suspension system in it. Oh. So that means I can do any roll control. Right. So I'm going to be able to pump this thing if it starts weaving over a little too much. Yeah. That that side's gonna dip and this side's gonna go up and it's gonna stay on the so road. So you're just, it's never gonna get any kind of a tippy no. problem. Mm -mm. No. And what you're looking at is the coupe, yeah. but we're also gonna do a cabriolet. So um, this would disappear. Right. Uh, this will swing shut over here. Right. And it'll come with a tonneau yeah. that'll snap, uh, snap in. And we're also putting in airbags, but they're not gonna be coming out of the steering wheel. They're gonna be coming out of the, uh, out of the lap belt. Oh, so uh, uh, this will pop out and make sure you don't go smashing in there. Right. So it's it's a little heavier on your lap, but uh, but you can have a lovely like, old school wheel like that now also without oh, yeah, a big absolutely. bulky wheel. I don't need to do anything but but that. that Which is great because that wheel yeah. is super charming. I love. I, I love everything about this. Yeah. I, there's not much here I don't like. No Bay's uh, product. This product was made in uh, Estonia uh, by uh, by the the No Bay company. And unfortunately, they had a fire, yeah. and uh, the fire just basically burned up everything. Uh, so they're back at square zero, and this basically is the only prototype that uh, that managed to make it out. Right. Wait. 
All right, well, I can't wait to see this thing happen. I think it's lovely. I'm glad you guys are involved. So everybody, keep an eye out for Noby and all you rich guys out there. You know, kick him a few bucks. <laughs>